Hey everybody, Looks Into Swirl here. We are back with a promised follow-up to some of the new alcohol inks and Easy Marble Hydro Dip paints I got lately. I did the Marabou Hydro Dip and the Marabou alcohol inks in a separate video. I will link to that below if you haven't seen that yet. But at the same time I unboxed all of those, I also unboxed two packages of recommended to me by a viewer. Thank you again. Uh, T-Rex alcohol inks. These are available on Amazon and I ordered the starter pack and also this cool Earth Tones 12 pack. And this is the one I'm going to use today. I pulled some of the 12 inks out. We're gonna be using Sea Glass, Island Teal, Aegean Sea, yes, these are my favorite colors, Pacific Blue, Purple Iris, and Wisteria. So those are the T-Rex alcohol inks I'm going to be using. I'm going to do an alcohol ink swirl cup. I will use these inks in other ways in other videos, I promise. But for my first test, we're gonna go with an alcohol ink swirl on a 30 ounce skinny tumbler. But I'm gonna try something a little different. I just saw this on the Glitter Chimps uh, Tumblr TV YouTube channel. I'll link to that video below. She was making a Jupiter cup at the request of her daughter. Aside from getting the uh, pattern of Jupiter, the planet, on the cup, she also wanted it to glow in the dark. And she did that by mixing in some glow powder into the resin that she put on the cup to begin with before she started dropping the alcohol inks and the, the sinker white. This is my res Let's Resin Deeper white. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix about five little stickfuls of this into 30 milliliters of art resin. This will be KS art resin. And I'm gonna put that on the tumbler and I keep pointing over here because that's where the tumbler is. I'll move the camera when we get to that part. So this goes in the resin, the resin goes on the cup. I will then drop these inks on and do a relatively normal, I hope, alcohol ink swirl using the Let's Resin Deeper White for my swirl white color. And we'll see how it turns out. We'll see how these inks look. We'll see if we get a glow in the dark function. We'll see how everything, how everything works. So I'm gonna gear up and move the camera over to where the cup is. Sit back and enjoy the show.
And we're back. Hey, look how gorgeous this turned out. Oh, I absolutely love it. Of course, these are, these are you know, my favorite colors, so that, that doesn't hurt. <laughs> but oh, wow, is that beautiful. The swirls, the colors themselves, all of them, every single color on here is just gorgeous. They played well together. Oh, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I have a resin swap box coming up, and the person I am sending something to likes purple. So it occurred to me that you know, I, this cup might qualify, since there's some purple in it. And uh, I think I will add a decal of something she likes. I am going to try these same alcohol inks in a waterfall rain method cup right now. Same inks. So let me go set up for that, and I'll bring you back, and we will, we will test these out in another fashion, these colors. Okay, we're back. Okay, let's let's do this. <laughs> I've been busy doing so many other things, I forgot about this. So here I am, we're back, I'm back. We have our T-Rex inks from that other cup that I, I just showed you and now it's in another room. Uh, we have Island Teal, Pacific Blue, Purple Iris, Sea Glass, Wisteria, and a G&C. Remember, this, this, to some people, this seems to waste alcohol ink. This is just a, a technique that uses alcohol ink in this fashion. Please don't get upset. I'm just playing. Just, just enjoy the show. All right, shaking up the brass. Tops are off. And here we go. I don't dislike it, but I'm tempted to futz with it. You know what happens when I futz with things. I love this area. Not as sure about that one, but if I start futzing with one place, you know, it's all, it's all gonna get affected. These are drying much shinier than, say, the Marabou alcohol inks. That's interesting. So there's definitely a different consistency to them. I like this, it's kind of cool. There's an awful lot of white left over though. Well, at the risk of being really upset with myself, here we go. It doesn't spread out as much in the alcohol. It's interesting. That's why we're getting so much white, I think.
All right, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Now, if the whole cup were like this or the whole cup were like this, just cut the cup in half. <laughs> but these are beautiful and they are definitely different. They don't spread out as much in the alcohol. They dry much shinier. So right off the bat, I noticed that these are, are definitely different from other alcohol inks I've used. Not in a bad way, just they're just different. All right, that is very pretty. Stay tuned, I'll figure out what to do next and um, I'll bring you back. <laughs> Could be it's time for the big reveal.